MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with the man I call the Gordon Gecko of mixed martial arts. John Scholler, successful in his UFC debut. Congrats first on the win. Uh, let me ask you, starting out the fight, you know, seemed like he was kind of getting in your face, you know, trying to go after you early. Did you expect that, or, or what did you think of the first couple minutes of the fight? Um, well, one of the things my coach, uh, John Danaher, says is the first minute of a fight, everyone's equal. Uh, you have that adrenaline, everyone gets inside the cage. And uh, I knew the octagon was going to be a big space. So just try to utilize my footwork, slow the pace of the fight down, regain control. You're in there for three rounds, so definitely not rush, uh, rush for anything. As the fight wore on, you know, everyone commented that he was uh, slowing down. You know, you could tell the gas. Could you see that happening in the fight? Uh, I noticed coming out of the second round, uh, one of the big things I try to rely on is just my conditioning. It's really the only control factor you have in a fight. Um, and I noticed in the second round, his hands and everything were starting to slow down, and uh, I was able to start picking them apart and get the take down. The, uh, the finish, I'm assuming that came from John Danaher, uh, BJJ? It, it comes from everyone over at Henzo Gracie's. Obviously, uh, John Danaher, a.k.a. the Yoda, a.k.a. the mad scientist, whatever you want to call him, uh, definitely works on a lot of submissions with us. And it's just uh, the, the ability to do it through repetition so that when you get in that live simulation, you don't have to think about it. You can just go for it. You get the finish. Big John McCarthy pulls you off. Uh, your first victory in the UFC. But what's what's running through your mind at that moment? How's it feeling? Um, you know, it's great. It's funny. I always say uh, the hard work's in the gym, and you know the cut and weight and the time that a lot of these fans don't get to see. Uh, the fun part is getting into the cage and be able to showcase everything you work so hard for. Now, I know you told us on the radio show before the fight you had you know clients, some people here from your from your from your broker firm, everything. Uh, you're going back to work on Monday, which yes. is pretty crazy. But uh, I mean, they've been supportive of you this whole time. What I mean, how do you expect this to work in the future, though? Because I know you know you said you're very dedicated to your job, and, and you can continue to do both. But do you feel now that you're here, you can still do both? Um, no, I definitely can. Uh, like I said, one of the big things uh, when I went to Cornell University and wrestled in Division One program with uh, applied economics as a major, just time management. And uh, right now, my job's my priority, and then I'm able to train at night. And because I have such a great team of coaches that helps work around my schedule, I'm able to get everything done I need to. You get three or four fights in 2012. Are they going to give you the time off? Um, yeah, no, we'll see. And again, like I said, uh, right now, if they had to come in with ask me to have a fight and I had work, work's uh, first priority right now. All right. Well, congratulations again on the win. Thank you.